Welcome back, my students. How are you? We will continue talking about travel and tourism. Lesson 12, 11 and 12, page 45. Look at the pictures below. What attractions would you like to see in, in either of these cities? Which city would you prefer to visit and why? Write three sentences about each city and which one do you prefer to visit? Thank you. Now we have a quiz about Singapore and Abu Dhabi. There are 12 questions. Try to answer them and try to determine for which city does each sentence belong, whether to Abu Dhabi or Singapore. I'll give you only three minutes to do that. enough. You can check your answers with your classmate. Thank you. Now we will talk about language tip. Here we have two tenses, present perfect and simple past tense. There are two realizations for present perfect. Has plus past participle for singular nouns. Have plus past participle for plural nouns. There are different adverbs that can be used in present perfect. Since, for, already, just, yet, never, ever, so far, up to now. In past tense, we have only a definite time in the past. It must be definite. Open your workbook page 39. Here we have seven sentences. Before doing this exercise, you try to underline the keyword or the adverb that leads you to the correct answer. Now, complete the sentences by using whether present perfect or simple past tense. I'll give you only two minutes to do this exercise very quickly. Let us check the, the answer together. The first one. Zainab has finished, because here we have yet. The second one, I have never been, here because we have never. The third one, have had, because we have so far. The fourth one, went, simple past tense, because we have last week. The fifth one, had, because we have last year. The sixth one, have visited. 
here we have several time which means so far or up to up till now the last one has eaten because we have already thank you very much in your workbook again page 39 the words below have been covered in unit one can you unscramble them I'll give you only two minutes in order to do this exercise because you have been accustomed to using these words and put in mind that these words are very active ones so you should use them in your writing when you talk about tourism and travel. The first one, destination. The second one, traditions. The third one, tourism. The fourth one, industry. Relax. Visitors. Economy. Landmarks. Culture. Attractions. Thank you very much. Now speaking, work in groups and discuss the following. Think of four similarities between these two sentences. <coughs> Sorry, you can check. You can check reading again for help or use what you know about the cities. I'll give you only four minutes to do that. Put in mind to use compound and complex sentences. In addition to that, the linking words such as both, similar, the same, as adjective as, for similarities, but for contrast, but, whereas, on the other hand, nevertheless, although, these are very important keywords or linking words while you are Right. Thank you. Now I'll display a sample. Both cities are important tourist destinations. Both cities are trying to develop their tourism. People speak English in both, in both places. Both are safe. Thank you. In your course book, page 46. Reading. Look at the following introductions and answer the questions. Here we have two. Two introductions about two different cities, Abu Dhabi and Dublin. And we have four questions. I'll give you only five minutes in order to do to do to read these paragraphs and answer the questions. Now I will display the answers and you can check your own marks. The first one three, the second one sentence three, the third one a general overview about and the last one about 50 words for each paragraph.
in your work of page 40. Look at the text below, rewrite the paragraph and change some of the words in bold. Here, we are going to replace the nouns with pronouns in order to avoid repetition and this is very important in writing and speaking. The first one Afrad, we can replace it by the lady or she. The second one, Afrad, we replace it with the pronoun she. Afra and her mother, they. So here we have to take into consideration the agreement, whether it is a singular pronoun or a plural one. Again, in workbook page 40. Read the text below and complete the following sentences. Here, the paragraph is about Marrakesh. And we are going to replace the nouns with pronouns, or what does each pronoun refer to, which is called a word reference. The first pronoun, it, what does it refer to? It refers to Marrakesh. The second one, the city. What does the city refer to? It refers also to Marrakesh. The third one, they. What does they refer to? Tourists. The fourth one, it. What does it refer to? To the government. Then the last one, it refers to visitors from Europe. It is very important note to be taken into consideration that this type of questions is a normal or a formal one in, in while you are asking for the answer once. It is very important. Writing in your course book page 46. Write 150 words in two paragraphs. Write about your emirate or city. The first paragraph should be an introduction. You could add a little about the history or major tourist attractions of city of the city or emirate. This would be a homework and inshallah we will check it tomorrow together. Thank you. We will see you later, inshallah.